Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're going to be showing you how to make your own iron fertilizer solution for use in your planted tank. Now using fertilizers isn't always 100% necessary, but it can help bring the life back to an older aquarium. Let's start the project. For this project, you'll need a gallon of distilled water and some type of bottle to serve as the container for your fertilizer solution. You're free to use any size and shape of bottle you want, it'll only change one calculation which we'll make later in the video. Just make sure that it has a cap. We're choosing to use the 500ml brown glass bottle you see on the right. You'll also need an amount of iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate and a gram scale, both of which you can find online for relatively inexpensive. Last, you'll need a 5ml syringe and a piece of vinyl tubing which will act as the needle for the syringe, making it easier to extract our fertilizer. We found that about every 4 inches of vinyl tubing will account for roughly 1 mil of solution. Now that we know what we need, let's talk about what concentration of iron 2 we want to achieve and how to go about making that solution. The estimative index suggests that we maintain a concentration between 0.1 and 1 milligram per liter iron 2. Don't forget that milligrams per liter is the same as saying parts per million. We're going to stick with dosing our aquarium with 0.1 milligrams per liter because we want to limit the amount of sulfate we put in our tank. Now let's go over some basic stoichiometry which will enable us to make our solution. There's a few numbers in the following calculation which are subject to change and we'll go over them at the end. We start with our desired concentration being 0.1 milligrams per liter. We then divide by 55.84 grams which is the molecular weight of iron 2. We then multiply by 278.05 grams which is the molecular weight of our fertilizer iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate. It's at this point we want to get out of milligrams and into grams, so we divide by 1000 milligrams. The last step in this calculation involves multiplying by the amount of liters your aquarium is. We're using a 55 gallon aquarium, which is 209 liters. Don't forget that 1 gallon equals 3.8 liters, so you can put your own number in this spot. When we do the math above, we end up getting 0.104 grams, which is the amount of iron 2 sulfate we would add to our aquarium if we were dry dosing. Since we're making a solution, we get to decide the volume of each dose. We're going to choose 3 mils. The last step involves multiplying by 500 mils, which is the volume of the container we're going to house our fertilizer solution in. When we do this calculation, we end up getting 17.34 grams, which is the amount of iron 2 sulfate you'll need to add to your 500 mil container. Every time we extract 3 mils from this solution and put it in our aquarium, we'll achieve a concentration of 0.1 milligrams per liter iron 2. Now let's go over some of the numbers in this calculation which we can change. The first number we can alter is the desired concentration. We recommend sticking with 0.1 milligrams per liter if you're using a sulfate based fertilizer like we are. If you're using a different type of iron fertilizer, feel free to change this number but just stay within the estimative index. The next number that's subject to change is the volume of the aquarium you're dosing. To find out how many liters your aquarium is, simply take the volume in gallons and multiply it by 3.8. We can also change the volume of each dose. We picked 3 mils because we're using a 5 mil syringe and because this volume enabled us to stay under the solubility max of iron 2 sulfate. If we go over this solubility max, we won't be able to dissolve all our iron 2 sulfate in solution, reducing the concentration in each dose. The last number we can change is the volume of our fertilizer container. For example, if you were using a 1 liter bottle to house your solution, you would write down 1000 mils. If you don't feel comfortable doing these calculations or you just want to double check your work, we've posted a link in the description to a fertilizer calculator that'll do the math for you. Now let's get back to the project and make our solution. Start by turning on your scale and weighing out the appropriate amount of iron 2 sulfate which you calculated previously. Add your fertilizer to your container with the help of a funnel. Using your distilled water, fill your container all the way up to the top. Screw on your cap and shake well for about 30 seconds to dissolve all the fertilizer. Don't forget to add a label with the appropriate dosing information. To dose our aquarium, we start by attaching a piece of vinyl tubing to the end of our syringe. This 4 inch piece will contain roughly 1 mil of solution. So when we go to extract our dose, we want to pull the plunger back so that the liquid reaches the 2 mil mark. This will account for a full 3 mils because 1 mil of solution is in that vinyl tubing. And now you're ready to dose your aquarium with a concentration of 0.1 milligrams per liter iron 2. We recommend adding this dose to only heavily planted aquariums about two to three times per week. To learn more about nutrient uptake by plants as well as other biological processes taking place in your aquarium, check out more of our aquarium science videos on our channel and website. 